In this video, I'm going to dive into the world of widgets and show you how you can create interactive widgets and stacks to make your life easier. From weather updates to series suggested widgets, you'll be surprised at everything that you can do on your phone without even opening an app. These powerhouses are transforming the way we use technology. Once you learn how to use widgets, you'll be able to customize some home screens in ways that will work for you. Please stay tuned to the end where I will explain how you can access my digital downloads. Let's get started. So what is a widget anyway? Widgets are interactive tiles that can be added to your iPhone's home screen, and they're a true game changer for anyone who relies on technology for productivity. Here's a widget. And you may notice something different. It seems to have multiple widgets that I can just scroll through. And what am I doing? I'm actually scrolling through different apps, but I'm seeing everything right on the home screen. So the beauty of a widget is that your information is right on your home screen, right in front of your nose. You don't have to find the app. You don't have to open the app. You don't have to find the folder or the note or the photo. It's right there. So let's see how we can use widgets to simplify the experience of using our technology. They come in three sizes. The first size is called small and it takes up the space of two apps on your home screen. The second size is medium and it takes up the space of four apps going across and two apps down. The third size is large. The large size widget will take up the size and space of four widgets across and four widgets down. And the calculator that you see right here on my home screen, that's a large widget. Above it where it says manuals and maintenance, that's a medium widget. I'm going to show you now how to add widgets to your home screen. To add widgets, we're going to create them by going into edit mode. If you find any space on your home screen, just press on it. And once you do that, you'll see uh, the app start wiggling and a plus sign appears at the top left of your screen. Clicking on that will open up the widget menu. The first thing you'll see is a search widget toolbar. So if you know what widget you want, you can just go in there and type the name of the widget you want. It'll pop up, you click on it. Now, once you're here, you'll have a choice most of the time, a menu of different widget styles for that app. So we can just scroll through them and see what our choices are. This is what I would be looking at on my home screen. At the top, it tells you what the name of the widget is. Now you see these are the same size. This gives you more information. It's the world clock, so you're seeing the time in four time zones, but it's still a small widget, so that's kind of nice. Uh, you can also get a medium-sized world clock. So I'm going to choose one, and now I've added it to my home screen. I'm going to go and get a few more. Press on plus. Press on the search bar, type what I want. I have a choice of small, medium, large. I can see the whole month. That's kind of useful sometimes, so I'm gonna add that widget. Now watch what I can do. If you have widgets that are the same size, you can do something called stacking. Group widgets together so that you can just scroll between them and they take up less space on your home screen. To do that, I'm going to hold down on one widget once it's magnetized to my finger, I can drag it over and put it in the box with the other one. Click on the home screen anywhere outside the widgets. I'm out of the edit mode and I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm scrolling between my monthly calendar and my clock. So again, how to get a widget. Press anywhere on the home screen that's empty. Press on the plus sign. Uh, I think, you know what, I think I'm going to take this Duolingo. I'm going to add the small widget and I'm going to put that right over the clock. Again, I want a whole stack of widgets. I'll go find another one. My dog needs food, so I'm going to put the Chewy widget right here. I'll add it right there to the stack. Basically, I'm scrolling between the different apps represented as widgets right on my home screen. Now, let's say I don't like that order. I can easily edit the stack. To do that, you're going to tap on the widget and then tap on edit stack. And this is where you can decide what you want first. So I think I want the month, the month calendar first. So I'm just gonna hold it until it's first and let go. Then I think I want Duolingo second. 
because it's more likely if I see that reminder, then I will practice. Then I have the clock and Chewy. When I'm done, I just click outside anywhere on the home screen and I'm done. So now I'm accessing my widgets. I'm gonna add some more widgets, but I'm gonna do it in another way. Instead of searching, I'm gonna scroll down and you'll notice that the widgets are alphabetical down here. And another widget that I like to have access to will tell you the battery life of the connected devices you have. So I'm gonna click on batteries and look through my choices. I have a small widget and I have a medium and a large widget. The large widget is great if you have a lot of different devices uh, that you need to see and manage the battery life. The small one is fine for me. If you wanna see the actual battery life, you can use the med medium one, but I'm gonna use the small one. So I'm just going to drag this over and put it in the stack. So maybe your question is why widgets? I can just open the app. Well. Widgets provide a quick way to access all of your stuff, your digital stuff, your notes, your photos, your reminders, your lists. Anything that has a widget can possibly make your life a little bit easier. Now I want to show you about two more choices you have when you're editing your widgets. If you hold on a widget stack, you press edit stack, two additional things are gonna come up at the bottom of the screen. The first one is called Smart Rotate, and it can be on or off. And the second one is Widget Suggestion, on or off. Smart Rotate doesn't mean rotate the screen, it means change the order of the widgets in the stack. And the reason it would change is your iPhone learns what you do when you do it. So if you always check your mail in the morning, then and it's the morning when you're looking, then the mail might be first. So it's really based on time and place and what you do. It's gonna always change. If you like your widgets to remain the way you set them up in the order that you want, then you're gonna turn Smart Rotate off. And that way they'll always be in the same order that you created them. Widget suggestion on or off. That means uh, if your iPhone notices that you are constantly using an app that has a widget, it will suggest to you, hey, do you wanna add this widget? so you can keep that on or off. Used properly, widgets can make everything easier. You can get to a specific note, photo, list without opening your app. If you got something out of this video, let me know in the comments below. Press the like button and subscribe for more.